uh, yeah, exactly. Finally, I apologise also. Um, you know, uh, on 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 my behalf, on Michael's behalf, um, it's a new platform, as as he quite rightly said. Um, but welcome everybody. Um, now let's get going. You've been sitting here patiently to um, how to dominate Google uh, in in 2018. So welcome and uh, thank you for being patient again. So um, where where very quickly, first of all, where what what country and or city is everybody tuning in from today? Where are you guys right now? Rwanda, brilliant. Nairobi, Kenya, Denmark, Poland. Wow, we've <laughs> we've got a really international audience here right now. Okay, fantastic. Ah, good, you're right, India. My family are from India. Oh, we've got Egypt here as well. Um, this is impressive. You guys are really in an international crowd. Okay, fantastic. So we got another Rwanda. Okay, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So, without further ado, um, let's get into it. And you know, along the way, of course, feel free. Um, I think um, you can see a, a questions tab. Um, if you have any questions at any time as I'm going through, please do uh, don't hesitate to, to to ask a question. Um, either you know, Michael will interrupt me and say, "Hey, Deepak, this is a very relevant question to what you're discussing right now," or I'll see it myself, of course, and I'll just directly answer yourself, directly answer. So let's get into the actual slides. Now, can, in a further test of this platform, can you see where it says how to dominate Google in 2018? Are you able to see, okay, okay, brilliant. I'm getting smileys as well. I'm sure you guys are about ready to, 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 to drown and fall off the face of the earth. <laughs> um, okay, fantastic. So I want to um, keep this as engaging as possible. So, you know, if you ever have any questions, as I said, just feel free to ask right away. So, Google. <laughs> Let's begin by really just talking about some things that, you know, to a degree you may already know, right? A lot of people visit Google, okay? Um, amongst all of the places in the world, um, Google, of course, um, not of course, perhaps, it's, it's the most visited website in the world. It gets a billion, like a billion, right? I think there's what, like close to seven billion people on earth. Maybe maybe there's slightly more now, I forget. But that's the amount of search requests that get per day. And this is the fact that's really shocking, right? Google is um, the first word, apparently, uh, this was from HubSpot, by the way, this is from a respected marketing platform called HubSpot that I pulled these statistics off. Um, Google is used by 50%, 57% of American kids as a first word. Um, so I, I, I'm, I, I'm still not sure if that's a good thing, but it's, it's, it's crazy when I actually read that. Now, Google, um, <laughs> and this is relevant to the size of actual Google. Google rents goats, right? So um, if any of you have any friends who have some goats, then please do submit an application to Google because Google rents them to cut the amount of weed on all of the land that they use for server storage. Uh, a lot of the servers are kept um, underground and um, a lot of grass grows above the actual servers. So that creates a lot of weed and therefore Google rents goats. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then just, you know, this is something that I assume and imagine you're familiar with. You know, when Google first started out, it, it could maybe analyze 30 to 40 pages um, per second. That's now turned into millions. So, you know, a lot of people sometimes worry that, well, Google's, you know, big, bad, vast. How am I ever going to, you know, perhaps succeed on this platform? Well, Google um, is pretty smart at finding out, you know, where your web page lives and, and kind of what you're doing. So um, that's something that's um, really, really useful to to know and to consider. So um, that's kind of about Google. Now let's talk just a little bit about me, okay? Um, and I, um, so my name's Deepak. Um, I'll go through some of these things here. Um, I, I run a company called Pearl Lemon. We're, we're an SEO agency, okay? So you could, of course, give me a Google, give Pearl Lemon a Google, <laughs> um, or ask your children to say the word Google. And we're an SEO agency based in London. Uh, we've been really fortunate to win um, a few awards. Uh, we've been we've been in in, in the as a business we've been running for two years. Um, so we're young. Um, as someone in SEO myself, I've been in the industry five, seven years, something like this. You know, you start off in kind of marketing broadly. Um, I um, 
as a nod to those of you that are in the continent Africa, of course, at the moment. I did my first Ironman in, in South Africa. Um, so that was um, an amazing experience to, to go out. And one of my good family friends is from um, from Uganda. I don't know, was there anyone from Uganda? Let me have a look at the list. Yes, so Rosemary. Um, I don't know where in Uganda you're from, and I don't know all of the cities individually, if I'm being very honest, so I apologize, Rosemary. Um, but I've got one of my good friend's families that's from Kim Kampala, and we've always discussed going. So now I've got yet another reason to go. And my family, you probably perhaps guessed by my name, despite my accent, are from India. Um, so that's um, that's who I am. Right, let's keep moving forward. So really, I just want to talk to you about why you should care about Google. Um, but I want to um, kind of preface this a little bit by asking asking you guys in the audience, um, what do you what do you do right now? Do you work? Do you study? Do you run a small business? Are you hoping to start a business? If I could get some responses in, that would be fantastic um, to see what you guys you know are doing um, at the moment in 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 your lives. Let's see if I work digital manager, brilliant. Digital marketing at business media company work. Okay, okay, brilliant. And um, Rakesh and Anna, do you, for example, work in um, the media, the digital space, or is it completely unrelated? So you can write digital or unrelated. Maybe you're doing something that's nothing. Working as a digital, 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 digital. Okay, cool. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, brilliant. So um, this is fantastic. I've got ultimately what it sounds like an audience of marketers so um if you feel that you want me to dig deeper sometimes then let me know if you feel that deepak you're going too deep let's get back to the simple stuff then also let me know brilliant thank you guys so um i want to talk about why you know your businesses or you within your digital project management roles or what you do as digital marketers should care um about about google right um and this is particularly relates to local businesses that we're, I'm going to be focusing upon a lot at the moment. So how many you work, how many of you work for businesses that have a local service? Um, if I could see whether any of you guys work with businesses that you know offer local services like in person perhaps. Let's see what responses we're getting coming in. All right. No one is saying anything. Okay, partial. Okay, okay, okay. What do you mean? Yeah, good question. What do I mean by local services? So, for example, if you work in a hairdresser, then they service businesses locally. If you work for an insurance company, they might not ever see anyone. They might just do everything over the phone, but they work with businesses in the local area. So, so that there, there, there's two examples of local services because what I want to focus on today um, is is ultimately you know ranking businesses or your business or or even whatever that you're doing kind of on the side or for your company on Google can do to transform everything right so some of these statistics are I you know I because naturally I was um, it, it, some of these surprised me to be honest with you like surprised me as to how high they actually are so I'm sure you've already read the screen right I'm sure you're looking at it right now 78 this was the one that really surprised me okay 78 percent of local mobile searches result in offline purchases right that's basically you know um, pretty much pretty much two in five people pretty much so for every five people that run a local mobile search they will tend to end up purchasing something from the place that they found and if someone's running a local mobile search let's say for example you search hairdresser you know let, let's have a look at you know let's say for example that some of you search hairdresser cairo or you search you know, um, Salon, Gujarat, or something like that, then it's the Google three pack that appears in the top spot for 93% of searches of local intent. So um, are you familiar with what the Google three pack is? Um, I'm going to assume that, um, I'm just gonna quickly explain what the Google three pack is. It's very, very simple. The Google three pack is ultimately the space at the top of a um, search bar that shows um, you know, businesses, um, the, the, the box at the top. And there's 
as it says, three businesses that will generally appear. Does that make sense to everybody in terms of the Google three pack and what I mean? If you search a service, you find that the three pack will appear. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, brilliant. So for these reasons, guys, you know, Google is incredibly important to being able to transform your business and what you can do. So this is the part I imagine that everybody cares about, which is how do I rank? <laughs> how is it that I get a top Google? So, um, you know, one of the interesting things about this space is what, what I want to do is, is focus on spaces or things that, that you can do that, that, that are eminently achievable within your workplace, right? The things that you could focus on that could really perhaps, you know, move the needle. So let's get into it. So I don't think this particularly is a surprise to you that keywords are king, right? Keywords are king. So, um, you know, when thinking about what you want to rank for or what you want to, you know, advertise or list on Google for, it's really important to think about, well, what are the searches that people are making? What are the um, searches that people are making um, that, that, that can really determine whether it's a keyword that's going to be important to your business? So, you know, one of the easiest ways to do this, of course, is to look at your competition. So you could look at your competition, look at their website. Certainly if you type a keyword, and you find another business there, like your competitors down the road, let's call your competitor, let's call your competitor Richard. So you see Richard with his shop or his department, and you can have a look at his website and start to understand what is it that, you know, he might be design aiming to rank for. So this is um, one of the things that you could do that's Really, really quite simple. So please take a note of this, of course. Um, how many of you um, are using Chrome right now? Or what, please type in the web browser that you're using at the moment, whether it's Firefox or Internet Explorer or Chrome or, oh, there you go, Vivaldi. Tomaz, you need to teach me, my friend. I don't even, I don't think I've ever used the Vivaldi, Vivaldi actual browser. I don't <laughs> really quick. Okay, brilliant. No, it does sound like it's really quick. Um, I need to check that out, Thomas. So thank you for that. So this is a tool. I don't know, to be honest with you, whether it works in actually um, in, in 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 browsers other than Chrome. Um, so I want to check something. Can you guys? Can you guys see my screen? I've, I, I, I want to check that this works first of all. I've typed the word farm and I've got a Google search page up in front of me. Let's double check to see whether we, you know, we're having any luck with webinar ninja and screen sharing. No, no, okay, okay. Um, all right, so no problem at all. It's not, a, it's not a problem. Can you still see, discover how many people search the, the, the slide? Yes. Okay. All right. So we have that. All right. Brilliant. Okay. Let's 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 stick with the slides. Not a problem at all. So what I want to um, ask you to do is for all of you that are familiar with Chrome, that are familiar with Chrome plugins. I'm sure you are. This is actually the simplest way to look and find you know keyword search volumes. Um, Ad Planner is something that you can do. Um, but it's probably a little bit more complicated, and this is something that you could do very quickly, and it does draw from Google Ad Planner anyway. So you can install this keyword, you could install this app, it's a Chrome plugin, and every time you run a search on Google, it will begin to spit out some of the search volume and, and show you how many people are searching for that, sometimes it's zero, but what it'll also do is give you suggestions that you know are similar to what you're searching for that do carry some search volume so using this tool you can do these things right you can run some local searches you can find the local search volumes you can think about well what is richard you know my competitor richard doing um and and you can begin to craft some very simple search keywords that you could target does that make sense everybody to actually how simple it is to kind of define a strategy to begin with um, just type in yes if, you, if, if, if that makes sense at the moment. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. 
good 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 all right perfect so we will keep moving forward um so so fantastic so this is the thing that i always find a little bit surprising when it comes to local search right so for example and one of you in was it rosemary who is um in one of you's in okay ali let's take you so ali are you there um from cairo just type in a yes if you can hear me ali uh i'm waiting for ali um okay brilliant right so when you live in a city um a city typically let's take you know cairo let's take london okay so i live in london right so london contains as you can imagine areas towns not villages necessarily districts but but every for, for, for the most of you i would imagine that you have at least within the city that you live in or the region that you live in there will be surrounding areas towns districts and villages so one of the really um quite simple things that you could do that really does help search is to build local pages for each of these areas that you're in so if you can put together kind of the areas and this can happen at a national level as well so you know in 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 england that would be london manchester birmingham um you know southampton um so you could think about the the major cities um and then even the towns if you just want to focus on one city and begin building pages for each area this is something that not enough businesses do it's simple to do and the thing that they sometimes do also is that they don't produce original content for each page let me explain what i mean by original content for each page build local content on local pages okay so when i say build local content on local pages it's 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 really about you know there's a little bit of repetition here actually um, but it's really mostly about referencing local landmarks okay referencing local landmarks is 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 a key component of the actual search that you build for example okay perfect yep michael's mentioned for example in nairobi it could be cbd kilmani karen westlands so you know if you're in nairobi and these areas and you've got local um perhaps local landmarks or regions even when you local region within local land right Out the search volumes, you had a look at Richard, your competitor, and you begin to put together some basic ideas about keywords that are going to be important. For your your company, you know, being found on Google. You built some of the local pages, you built local content. So by local, I also mean unique. You've not just copy pasted in the same thing across all of the pages and then just change the word, you know, change the name of the town. I see this happen sometimes as well. And you begin to add this level of personalization, right? This becomes, you know, an important, a key and critical next step. So remember now that you need to use those keywords on those pages. So if you, for example, and let's take a simple example, let's talk about um you know uh, mechanic you know if you run an auto repair shop or you know a car garage you could try and think about the keywords such as mechanic uh mechanic london or what about car repair london or what about fix my car london or what about you know car broken down car repair london as you can um, imagine for each of these areas there's actually many, many keyword variations. So when I say keyword variations, as you can appreciate, when someone types something into Google, the way that I type something and the way that you type something is going to be different, right? So when you're looking at keywords for these pages, what you can do is start to begin to build keyword islands. So one of the things that Google has become smarter to is if, for example, you run a car repair store, like a mechanics, and you think, right, I want to just rank for car repair London. Okay, brilliant. It's a good keyword to rank for, of course. The problem is, is that if you just use that keyword on every single local page that you have, then Google feels that you're doing something along the lines of what they call keyword stuffing. 
So to make sure that you have variation, you can think about, and you can check online also, all of the different keywords that people potentially use as variations around that keyword. So if it's Car Repair London, there's going to be Repair My Car London, Car Repairs London, Repair My Car in London. Um, and there's, there's, there's a wonderful tool, um, and uh, you're going to laugh at this. You're going to laugh at what this tool is called. But bear with me. I'm just going to, you can't um, see my screen, but I'm just finding the tool so I can write it into, 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 into the chat. Um, it's, it's, it's a very funny tool. Here you go. It's called keywordshitter.com. <laughs> what it will do is once you've got your keywords that you think are important to your business, it will shit out. Uh, that's what it's called. Um, every keyword variation for that keyword. So you could, and you know, don't worry about looking at it now or going through it, but you could type in something like Car Repair London, right? And I'm gonna just type it in in the background for five seconds, and I'm going to show you how it will help you like decide, you know, the keywords that are important. I'm, 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 I'm running it right now, and I'm gonna see what it comes out with. Um, bear with me a second, start job. Okay, I'm going to just let that run for a minute whilst we're still talking um, to give you um, a sense of, of what it can do. So, so, so that's one of the, you know, quite important things with keywords on, on those pages. Okay, so um, the next thing, and this is the part that, you know, when it comes to, to ranking on Google, that, that many people um, do, do fall down on. Okay, so you have got your website, of course, you know, you have decided, for example, what some of your keywords are, of course, um, and you have begun to build local pages, of course. Now, a lot of, what a lot of people don't do necessarily, of course, is, is really consider about your, something called your footprint, right? Now, I've not written that down, but I'm going to write it down in chat, right, footprint. So what I mean by that, what I mean by footprint is Google, as we discussed before, will look, where was it? Dum -dee -dum -dee -dum. Okay, Google can analyze millions of pages a, a second, okay? Millions of pages a second, right? So then when you're building your page, you've got the keywords, you, you know, you've done all of these wonderful things, you've used keywords anywhere, you've maybe used keyword shitter, maybe you've used something entirely different, you're like Deepak, I found, um, you know, I found, I, 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 I found an even better tool, and you, you've worked out what the keywords are. Um, then the problem that Google will have is that, to be honest with you, uh, here we go. So, chaps, I apologise. Um, yeah, here we go. This is, um, this is also another site that you'll find for. Um, keywords variations there's quite a few of these tools that will bring out variations for you to help you build that out um and 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 i have got um a, a list that it's just built for me um the car mechanic and i'll just show you some of the things that it is built out um there's a small example um and then what you could do with something like that is you you, 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 of course, remove some of the things that seem irrelevant, but it does give you some ideas as to all of the potential variations. So you've got your variations, right? You've got your tools, and you're like, okay, great. Now, the problem that Google has is that the fastest way that Google can determine whether your garage or your mechanic, right, if you're competing against Richard, the fastest way, um, does this work in other languages? Um, I will be honest, I don't know that this specific tool works in other languages. I would suggest trying it, but if it doesn't, I would imagine <clears throat> that you could find it in another language. One of the things that I often do is um, look at, you know, so keyword. But my, 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 my general rule of thumb, it's a great question, uh, Omorungi. Um, I do love your name, dude. I think it's fantastic. Um, the, my, my, my general rule of thumb is that you can safely assume that for, 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 for the kind of larger languages, let's say maybe Spanish, um, English, of course, maybe French, etc., um, that there probably will 
be um, alternative tools. Um, for countries where it's smaller, or the language is not as widely spoken, then it may be a little bit more difficult. But to be honest with you, even in absence of that, you can have a look at um, Google Ad Planner. It will give you keyword ideas. Um, so Ad Planner will give you keyword ideas. Or you can really just brainstorm it yourself. The great thing is, as you look at SEO in local languages uh, or languages you know that are particular to a country or region then there's probably also going to be slightly less competition for those keywords so the very fact that you've asked that question and you're thinking about it is, is fantastic it means that you can get a lot further with what you're trying to rank for because as you can imagine car repair London versus maybe you know car repair you know Croydon which is a specific region within London it's a specific town um, is, is easier perfect okay brilliant so social profiles so so, so so a lot of you for example won't create let's say Pinterest right you'll say Deepak Pinterest has nothing to do with my business um, it isn't relevant so I'm not going to create a Pinterest for a car repair store why would I you know because i'm in car repairs my, my clients don't even use pinterest brilliant i completely agree the the, the thing though that the, the google and this is when your website is new and you're just beginning the, the the journey of ranking is that google has no reference point for who you are so if you've just opened up you know bob's so you're you're ranking against richard right and you've opened Bob's car repair store. If you've got Bob's car repair store, then Google has no way of determining if Bob's car repair store is legitimate, right? All Google can see is the only person talking about Bob's car repair store is Bob's car repair store. So when you begin creating social profiles, you begin to expand your footprint. Google thinks, well, you know what? Bob's car repair store now has a Pinterest, it now has a Tumblr, it now has a Twitter, it now has an Instagram. Oh wow, and and, and you, you know, you'll come and say, Deepak, I'm not gonna get a single client for my car repair store on any of these platforms, which I completely do agree with. Um, you know, you know what I mean. I don't completely agree, but but I understand. However, Google begins to recognize that one. You're here to stay. Two, if never heard of Bob's car repair store, but they have heard of Pinterest, etc. Okay, that is the second important part. Number three, it expands. Because you're here to stay, of course, it expands your online footprint. And then number four, these sites all have high domain authority. So as you can really think about it, Google can at least begin to understand that you're here to stay, right? that you have all of these social profiles. All of these social profiles will find link back to Bob's car repair store, right? You can really then, as you can imagine, begin to think about, well, what are all of the social platforms or what are all of the platforms where I can build profiles? Um, you know, where I can, and, and then it gets interesting, you've got, you know, you've got you've got Blogger, you've got Gravatar, you've got I don't know, you've got LinkedIn, your LinkedIn company page, you've got um, there's there's there's, there's there's many. You've got Dig, you've got a Reddit account, you've got you've got all of these platforms that you can set up, and also of course optimize the profiles to 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 to, to really you know underline what is it that you do. We do car repair in London, for example, okay? Um, and, and doing something like this can very, 
very quickly help you get indexed faster. So Google discovers that, okay, Bob's car repairs here to stay. It helps create a little bit of domain authority and it helps expand your brand footprint. And all of these things begin to become more powerful. And these are many things that a lot of businesses don't ever do because they just think, well, Pinterest is unrelated to our business. However, for Google, it's important for all of these reasons. You're here to stay. They've heard of Pinterest, expand your online footprint, these sites have high domain authority, and all of them link back to Bob's Car Repair Store, which is a form of building backlinks to your website. Love it. Does everybody, if you can just type in, I know I've begun giving the presentation ultimately in the chat. <laughs> Do you all, does, does that make sense to everybody so far? Okay, awesome, 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 good. So as I, as I was saying, everybody, that if you've got any questions or anything doesn't make sense, then please, of course, just, just comment in the chat or ask the question, and obviously I'll do my best to answer, answer all of that. So let us keep going. Um, so guys, I say guys, I say gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, um, now this is the part where it begins to get even more interesting because this principle of listing on, let's have a look, social profiles also applies to local places. So there are lots of directories that are like a tiny, 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 tiny version of Google that will list local businesses, okay? So um, whatever listing that may be. In, 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 in the UK, we have, we have Yelp, we have Yelp, we have Google Business Review, we have... Um, we've got we, we we've got actually many right um we've got uh well there's three anyway there's also of course bing maps there's apple so basically what you will also discover if you're trying to rank a business locally is that there are lots of websites that list businesses that are local so what you can do here is that you can really begin looking at listing in local places so there's directories there's listing sites there's also there's also probably local businesses and this is the part that it gets really fancy i'm sure you can see where i'm going with directories with listing sites you're like okay cool deepak i get it right you know i'm going to list on those sites um and and please do remember though fill in the profiles completely a lot of people get very lazy and they create a listing on a directory but then they don't add the pictures, they don't add their opening and closing hours, they don't add any you know, content as to you know, the 250 words that you need to fill in or they copy and paste the same thing exactly across you know, all of these sites, make them slightly different. Um, and, and, and that obviously becomes, it's easy to do, but it's boring to do. So therefore, a lot of people don't do it robustly. Okay, when I say robustly, I mean that they don't cover all of the gaps. Um, but this is um, a really important place that you could consider. And there are services, as you can imagine, that can help you with this. So you can, of course, either hire someone internally or there are listing services. Um, in, the U the, in, 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 in the UK, what's quite popular certainly is Moz Local, is Yext is I think White Sparks is another one. And some people maybe go on to Fiverr and they try and hire someone to do it. Now, all of them can be met with varying success because some websites are not worth being listed on. But as you can imagine, there's many, many directories. So if you're doing it for the first ever time, I do recommend you have someone manually do it or you pay for a recognized service that's my recommendation but there will be some people that will be 
say, okay, you know, I'm going to go to um, a site and kind of hire it, um, order someone, you know, have someone do it. But these are the these are the important things: the directories and the listing sites, making sure the profiles are filled in, and making sure that all of the photos are added, and you do all of the things that relate to that. And then the local business part is 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 the interesting thing. So remember, and this is the thing that you know gets can become really powerful and getting you into the Google three pack. You know, the, the the whole aim of this, by the way, everybody, just to remind you is that I want your business to get into the Google three pack, basically, which is, uh, where is it? This stuff, right? Google three pack appears in the top spot in 93% of searches with local intent, 78% of local mobile searches happen and they result in offline purchases. So that is the point of all of this in case you're wondering, okay, I'm focused upon local SEO because it drives a lot of people that spend money with your businesses ultimately. Um, we'll come to YouTube after, oh, I skipped ahead. Um, and um, the, the, the part that's really interesting with local businesses is if you remember, Reference local landmarks, build local content on local pages, then you are potentially able to reach out to, hey Pascal, how you doing? You are potentially able to reach out to a local business and say, hey, we talked about your business. Um, we just wondered if you were happy to you know, list this on your website. And this is the part that, you know, a lot of other businesses won't be able to do because they may have built a local page but they didn't reference a local landmark or they didn't reference a local business. So if you run a mechanics, you could, for example, if you run a car repair store, if you run Bob's car repair store, right, as we were talking, where are you? Yeah, Bob's car repair store. That's the business we're talking about, right? If you run Bob's car repair store, you could say, whilst you're waiting, Whilst you're waiting, why not go and get a coffee from, you know, Frank's Coffee House? So you could write something like that whilst you're waiting. Why not get a coffee from Frank's Coffee House? And then you could mention this to Frank and Frank could potentially say, you know, local to us, we have a car repair store. So you can really begin to do some quite powerful things that will keep you at the top of Google if you begin to build links from local businesses. And that was why I said it's important to reference local landmarks. Local landmarks doesn't just need to be a clock tower. It just doesn't just need, for example, to be a shopping mall. It can be individual businesses that you know you can help support, whether that's friends or whether that's people in the local area. And, and this is the space that a lot of other people just will not do. Okay, so um, does that, well, no, before we come to that, I will give you my final piece of advice that I think is, is super important when it comes to the land of local business listings. So, dun, 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 and I did not put it into this slide, so I hope that you'll forgive me. It's, and I'm gonna put it in big capital letters into the chat, reviews, right? So, if you have listed on Yelp, on Yelp, on Google Business, on uh, what Bing, on what about a Facebook like page? Yeah, there you go, exactly. So sorry, Peter, by, by Google Business, I keep forgetting, I do mean Google Maps, but you're quite right, Peter, you're quite right. Uh, your Facebook like page does reviews, right? All of these, and, and there's many more, right? So if you begin listing, you know, remember you've created your social profiles, you, you have a Facebook like page now, you have a Google Maps listing now, you have a Yelp listing, a Yelp listing, make sure that you go out and get some reviews, okay? Now remember, or, or, or recognize probably is a better word, that a lot of people think, well, Deepak, how do I get a review or what can I do? You know, what's the easiest way? As long as someone comes in and you gave them some advice, it can be free advice, it could be like a 20 minute conversation, for example, then you can go away and write a review about them. So I'm gonna show you a live example of what, what, what it is exactly that I mean. So let's imagine that you've at least listed on Google Maps, okay? So you're on Google Maps because you want to get into the Google three pack, right? We're like, right, Deepak, my mission is to get into the Google three pack anytime anybody, um, you know, 
list there because this is what's going to make you know my company is going to make me conversions so super important that i get up here so 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 what can i do and i'm going to ask you guys ultimately to do the same thing for me that i recommend that you do so there is this site which is um a google review link generator right so what it does is you can go onto that site and if you're listed on google maps okay so for example my business as you can imagine power lemon we're an seo agency is listed on google maps and what i would do with something like this is it will create a review link right so you can literally go onto this site you can generate a review link and you can send it to someone that you've given some advice to that has helped them with whatever they're doing and you can ultimately make sure that you get the review urls for 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 your, for your facebook for your yelp for your yelp and start getting as many reviews as you can so this will really help you rank in the google three pack and it will really help you with not only your seo but also of course your conversions when i say conversions i mean any of your sales calls so this is the link by the way my good friends uh peter uh, pascal rune rakesh blend that's the link and if you open that link up you will find that that links to where you can leave a review for pearl lemon which is my business um, and so you know here i am asking you to please do leave a review there if you found some of this information to be interesting and useful and please you know write whatever you think hopefully it's good um, if it's bad then tell me here and i'll fix it but i used white spark the google review link generator to create that link because i have my listing on pearl lemon i have my listing on google maps and therefore i send that link to anybody that i give some advice to why because they leave me a review how does that help pearl lemon we are probably the only agency an seo agency with almost 70 google reviews we have 69 google reviews right that helped with seo that helped with social proof that helped with sales because i can say that in every conversation why deepak should we trust you and i say we're the only agency with 69 google reviews with 24 trust pilot review reviews with xyz we have over probably 120 reviews does that make sense to everybody what i've just said please just let me know if it makes sense or if you've got any questions brilliant fantastic fantastic so so here i am <laughs> as, I, as as i said i'll put it in there once more because i'm being cheeky but of course this is what you must do you must as i'm doing i'm, I'm asking you to if you can please do leave me a review um, if you've been happy with the advice and please do copy what i've just done right you get your google review link generator you go to all of your review platforms that are important to google of course google maps is the most important thing um and there's also of course facebook like is indexed by google trust pilot is indexed by google all of these platforms and you can find the review link and then you can ask anybody that you ever give advice to because if ever anyone says to you you know what deepak thank you that was actually really useful that's where you say i really appreciate that you when they say how can i help you or that was really useful can i do anything deepak i say actually is it okay if you just left the review saying what you just said you know the fact that you know rakesh thomas peter rune anna uh, Maria, you've all said yes, great. You know, please do write that on Google reviews because it helps me. Um, and of course, it shows you how you can really intelligently get ahead of your competition. So I am um, about to move on to YouTube. Um, and I'm hoping that some, <laughs> some of you have left me a review or two. But before I move on to YouTube, what I want to ask is, does anyone have any more questions about Google local SEO, which we've been discussing. I'm gonna give it another, let's say one minute, and then I will start talking about the wonderful YouTube.
good question about how effective listings are in 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 Africa in general. Um, my 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 general feeling. Um, do they get better as they, we use them? Okay, it's a good question. So so I would say that um, really, generally speaking, it's a question of looking at what is established where you, where you are, right? So you will have some listings right in 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 africa but they probably won't be as developed as in london for example however what that does mean is that you can get results probably quicker because there's less competition there are less listing sites um so it's just a case of doing enough research to establish what where are the directories where are the listing sites who are the local businesses and putting it into a spreadsheet and looking at them and thinking right you know can which of these sites can we list on which of these sites are businesses that we could support that are different from what we offer so we could write about them somewhere and then approach them and and then also where can we get reviews on these websites and begin to build it into kind of your strategy um the listings are very effective it's yep yeah, okay brilliant brilliant yeah so you guys of course if any of you have already got answers then you can um you know respond to other people's questions so thank you guys by the way i've seen that um Rakesh has left me uh, left us a, a three star review. Uh, Peter's left me a, a review. So thank you guys um, for for the reviews. Um, so fantastic. So um, brilliant. Let's now move on to and into the space of of YouTube, right? Google Maps are doing well now. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. So so fantastic. So Umarungi, great. Good to hear that YouTube maps are doing, uh, sorry, Google maps are doing really effectively. So um, guys, I'll quickly get into some, some things about YouTube. Okay. So YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world. After Google, it's YouTube. Google owns YouTube, right? Um, I know that we've only got a couple of minutes left, so I'm going to storm through some of this before we get into Q&A, but there's going to be some really good content here. So, 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 so if some of you are thinking, Deepak, I'm not interested in YouTube. Listen, I can see how it doesn't seem as connected to your business, but there's some really interesting statistics here, okay? Channels earning six figures year on, is, is increasing 50% year on year. The amount of people making six figures is increasing by 50% year on year. Searches of how-to videos on YouTube are growing 70% year on year. So again, if you have a business that involves any how-to, then this is useful. So for me, it's, you know, how to rank on Google is, is is a big one for our business. How to rank on Bing Maps is, you know, so as you can imagine, what you need to do is think about basically, you know, all of the how-tos that are relevant to your business. The next thing that you need to consider, and this is a great one for those of you that operate in, you know, languages that aren't, um, that aren't English, right? Um, there's a total of 76 languages, um, apparently, um, on YouTube, and this accounts for 95% of the internet population. So you will uh, and can probably do very well very quickly um, if you build a YouTube video in a local language um, that, that is particular to a region, whether that's you know in Uganda specifically or, or Slovenia, I think there's someone from Slovenia here, um, etc. So these are just some of the considerations. How-to videos are king. I've already discussed that, actually, so um, I'm not going to repeat myself. It does make sense, I'm sure, how to do this, how to do that, et cetera, et cetera, because video is so much easier than written text when you're trying to fix your mobile phone or do whatever you might do for car repair, for example. For car repair, if you create how-to videos, I think they would be absolutely excellent because a lot of people want to try and fix things themselves. Then it breaks and then they'll come to you because they trust you. So videos do create trust in a way that nothing else does. Um, video, so, so, so here's the other thing. Videos on your website help rank your website, okay? Now, I didn't include the statistic, but video websites with videos on them, especially imagine you've got your local page, you reference local landmarks, and you've got a video talking about the area locally, or you've got a video you know, giving some advice, whatever it may be. That keeps people on the page for up to 30% longer. Google loves people that, Google loves something called time on page, which is how long someone spends on a website. They're like, well, if Tomas is spending five, if Tomas is spending, you know, 30 minutes on a webinar with Deepak, that means that the webinar must at least be okay. Therefore, we're going to 
promote Deepak's website a little bit more. If Tomaz comes to Deepak's website and he gets bored after three minutes and he leaves, then Deepak probably doesn't have anything that interesting to say. So bye bye Deepak, we will prefer to promote someone else instead. So, so these are the reasons for why video actually is very helpful because it can quite dramatically increase time on page. So that's also the other part of it. Um, still <laughs> two screens still this webinar is great. Tomaz is like Deepak, I, I, I'm, I'm, you're fighting for my attention with someone else, but but I'm still here. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. So, um, guys, if you if you're wondering, listen, I we as an agency, I practice what I preach, right? So, Pearl Lemon, if you search for us on YouTube, we have so many videos, right? It's the reason why I'm here. Videos are big. Um, I do absolutely advocate them. It is helping us rank quite quickly um, for, for, for a lot of competitive keywords because we're just beginning to build more and more video. We still have holes in this, right? There's things that we still need to improve, but video is, is absolutely massive. So let's keep moving forward because I've repeated myself a little bit. Um, so keyword ideas can come from YouTube search. So um, I'm sure that many of you have written something into um, Google or even YouTube and Google or YouTube kind of predicts it for you. So they have something called predictive search, meaning that if you write, for example, lemons, they may add, if you write something like lemons, they might add lemon, lemon, and lime, and you can choose whether you want to search for that. Does, it, does, does that make sense to anybody? The predictive search I'm just making reference to. Okay, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so everybody's saying yes. Okay, fantastic. So, 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 so you could use something like that to begin to, and, and again, remember, you started off with Google, you looked at keywords anywhere. Google is the only place that reveals its search volumes, nowhere else does. But in combination with predictive, uh, predictive text, keywords, uh, anywhere or whatever it was called. I'm sure that uh, Michael will make sure that you guys have this. Um, you can begin to build a keyword strategy for you for, for YouTube, okay? Um, now, this is some of the obvious stuff, how to improve your ranking, create good content, right? What do your customers want to know? Search for them in YouTube, see what your competitors are doing and make better videos. Um, and then the two tools that I recommend for YouTube on-page SEO, these are both free tools again, vidIQ and TubeBuddy. Not enough people use them. They're very, very good tools. You can develop a system based around these to really help your videos rank. So I recommend one or one of, you could get both of them, but they're both free. I absolutely recommend using them because I'll take you through a checklist for all of the things that you could do. Just like, you know, you train someone, there's a checklist, just follow the instructions. And this is the bit that I always enjoy adding in. Videos with your mobile phone are totally okay, right? They're totally okay. If your content is good, you can record videos that don't even have the best quality. Most smartphones today can produce, you know, you know, uh, videos of good quality. So all you need really is a selfie stick, a mobile phone, good lighting, and you can even automatically upload it to YouTube from your phone. Okay, I've got a, I, I've got a lot of videos where I'm in a cafe talking, and I upload it instantly to YouTube. And some of those videos have done extremely well for me. If you're thinking, can that really work? I recommend that you look at Gary Vaynerchuk. This man is worth hundreds of billions, and he still records videos where it's, you know, on a, he's in a hotel, it's just on his mobile phone, he's wandering around the room. So videos with your mobile are totally okay, so don't worry so much about the production until later on. So, in conclusion, my friends, my good friends, um, crush it on Google and YouTube. Work out what search terms you want to rank for, create pages for those local areas once you've worked out the search terms, list on your list your website on you know local directories, build those social profiles, use these tools, keywords everywhere, TubeBuddy, vidIQ, and then you can get, that's meant to say ninja, get ninja, and then put video content onto your website. So they are the keys that I think that will really help amplify and boost your SEO in 2018. Um, and now I turn it over to you. This is where you can ask me absolutely anything that you want. So thank you for listening. Let me know what questions that you've got.
for those brilliant brilliant so for those of you that don't have questions um i will just ask once more and then i won't ask again if you did enjoy the presentation and in, did enjoy what i have to say i would really appreciate of course if you just left me a review online there that that, that would absolutely be absolutely fantastic for me and of course i'm still here to answer any any questions that you've got for the next five minutes Well, it looks like nobody has any questions. Um, if anything comes up, of course, please. Brilliant. Okay. No, Peter. No, th thank you for your time, Peter. Yeah, absolutely. If 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 you don't have any questions, then no problem at all. <laughs> That's also okay. Um, and um, yeah, Lisa. Um, I do believe that um, Michael will be making sure that this webinar is, it's been recorded. Um, that you can get um a, a link to the webinar. Um, so you'll be able to catch up with the the, the other elements later on. Okay, so Maria's asking about the local page. Do you mean target the audience in that area in town? Yeah. So if you think that you could potentially get customers from that particular town, then it's very important to build a page for that particular town. A lot of people will build, for example, a page for London, but London has many cities and it has many boroughs, um, etc. Can we get to ask questions later? Okay. How important is this to our insurance companies? Um, so it's useful, very useful for, for, for insurance companies if you know insurance companies seem to operate in particular areas. So if you're an insurance company that works in particular cities and regions, then, um, you know, there's still, um, it's a case of looking at the search, I'd say, Lisa. So when I say the search, look at the search volumes for insurance, you know, insurance city, insurance country, whatever it may be. And then that will determine basically whether you should build local pages. You should build local pages, broadly speaking, anyway. You should it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Joe, no problem at all. I'm quite sure that Michael's going to be um, um, sending out the um, the replay. Um, so, Maria, to ask, sorry, where was the question? Uh, Lisa, it can be very important. A lot of these principles, most of these principles, to be honest with you, apply to, to, to SEO in general. So having a Google Maps listing, getting many, many reviews, listing uh, keywords across pages, using keyword variations, building YouTube videos, all of these apply. All of these do apply to, 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 to SEO of whatever kind that you're doing. Right, I'll give it um, two more minutes um, to see if, um, if there's any more questions. Um, otherwise, I will uh, love you and leave you. Um, that's uh, an expression we use here <laughs> in England. <clears throat> will the access Thanks be so free? Much. Uh, I'm I'm not sure if you can still hear me. Oh, I can hear you now, Michael. Oh, okay, great. Uh, thanks a lot, Deepak. That's really interesting and a lot of really, really important points that I hope those of you who managed to attend here today that you will actually act on it because that's the only way you're going to get ahead. Knowing is not enough. you got to act on the knowledge that you just got. And uh, to those of you who has asked about the recording, which is also referred to as a replay, that will be available. Uh, five minutes after we close this webinar and I will send a follow-up email to all of you uh, with a link to where you can access this as well as information about how you can get in touch with Deepak and his company Pearl Lemon uh, in London. My understanding is that Deepak actually does help clients from uh, around the world not just limited locally to London. Is that right Deepak? Correct, correct. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to talk to, to, to anybody about this. Uh, excellent. So I'll share your contact uh, information with uh, with people as well. So if there are no other questions or no other comments, I just want to first of all say apologies for that uh, rough start we got, but we managed to get it fixed and you all stayed and that's very, very good. And uh, we hope to see you again for another webinar or maybe even in person. Uh, our next events coming up are in um, in Nairobi, in Kenya, as well as in Kigali, in Rwanda. And those take place uh, next week. Myself, I'll be in, uh, I think there was someone here from Bulgaria. I'll actually be in Varna at the large Innovate Summit as a keynote speaker there. 
uh, next month as well. But otherwise, just uh, check out the newsletters and we'll, we'll keep informing you about what's going on, which opportunities you have to learn more and consistently improve your marketing and communication game. So Deepak, any uh, parting words? Uh, just thank you everybody for, for listening through, for dealing with the issues that we, we encountered. Um, but also, you know, I just really, just to say that I wish you well, and I really do, you know, encourage you to try as best as you can to act upon the information that's here. You know, information is, is, is only as good as your, 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 your execution. So um, I wish you well, and I, I'm really um, excited, hopefully, to get an email from any of you. I've just left my email in the chat showing me, Deepak, I did this, and look at the result that I got. Excellent. All right, so without um, further ado, it's time to, to close this webinar. Thank you once again, and uh, best of luck, and hope to see you or hear from you soon again. Take care.